In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to refund money on PayPal that's on hold. Whether you're dealing with a hold on funds due to a transaction dispute or simply want to offer a refund for a recent payment, these steps will guide you through the process smoothly and efficiently. Let's dive right in to ensure you can handle this situation with ease. First, you'll want to head over to the PayPal website, open up your preferred web browser and type in the PayPal URL, which will bring you straight to the home page. Next, look towards the top right corner of the screen and you'll notice the option to log in. Go ahead and click on that. You'll then need to provide your credentials to access your account, enter your registered email address and the associated password. Once those are typed in, proceed by clicking on log in. This will take you into your PayPal dashboard where you can start the refund process. Now that you're in your account overview, look for the activity tab, usually found at the top of the page. Clicking on this will show you a list of your recent transactions. Next, you'll want to select all transactions to expand your view of the account's activity, giving you access to both recent and past dealings. With the transactions in front of you, your goal is to identify the specific payment that you wish to refund. Carefully scroll through and locate that transaction by examining the details such as the date, amount and recipient. Once you've found it, click on that transaction. Within the transaction details, you should have the option to issue a refund. Go ahead and select that. It's here you'll be prompted to decide the amount you wish to refund. This can be either a full refund or a partial one. The choice is yours depending on the agreement you've made with the recipient. Importantly, refunds can be issued up to 180 days after the original payment was made, so ensure you're within this time frame when proceeding. Once you've entered the refund amount, be sure to thoroughly review all the details to avoid any mistakes, double check that everything is accurate, and then confidently press the issue refund button. Lastly, it's crucial to note that while PayPal does not charge fees for refunding payments for goods or services, any initial transaction fees incurred from the original payment won't be returned to you as the seller. Be aware of this to set clear expectations when you're issuing the refund. By following these steps, you can manage refunds efficiently, aiding in maintaining good relationships with your clients or customers. Thank you for tuning in and don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful guides.